Welcome to the Harmonic Distortion Channel, where we analyze your favorite distortion boxes. Okay, let's uh, dive right in. First up is the Caline Pure Sky Overdrive Pedal. Uh, it's a budget, low gain overdrive pedal. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't know. I use it every once in a while. Let's start it up. First, we see uh, quite a bit of distortion. We'll pull back the gain until we get a nice clear signal and we'll see what the tone controls do. Trouble looks like it kicks it up and down. Um, I don't know what frequency that is. It seems to kind of roll off in, in sort of an odd way. And the bass control, yeah, that's kind of weird. It's more of a mid control. It could be pre-distortion. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, gain up. All right, let's set some levels. Uh, make sure everything's okay. And we'll switch over to the sine wave and see what that kind of gives us. All right, let's see what sine wave we get today. And the random sine wave test. It looks like we get 530.27 hertz. Okay. So you can see as we throw the gain up on the green channel, it's basically uh, the distortion box channel. Um, it goes up and it does some clipping. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. The bass control kind of rounds it off a bit. Okay. It's a lot less distortion, a lot less harmonics in that one. And the treble usually just makes it a little bit sharper. Okay. Pretty good stuff. I'll set the volume again. It's something I kind of like. And I first, I'm going to balance out this thing so I can get a little better signal here. All right, now we go over to the harmonic distortion analogy, which shows us the different uh, harmonics at play and when, as they distort. As you can see, as we throw the gain up, we're getting a lot of third and fifth harmonics. Third, third harmonics yellow, fifth harmonics blue. Um, the odd harmonic, the even harmonics don't seem to be going in too much. That's usually because of symmetrical clipping. Um, let's see what the bass control does when this. Hmm, okay. Looks like the bass control is pre distortion. As you can see, as I roll up distortion, it just only affects the high frequencies until it gets louder. So, yeah. So, bass is pre distortion. So, if you want to tighten up your sound on this pedal a little bit, pull the bass down a little bit. Troubles usually after distortion, and yeah, that's what it looks like here, too. All right, I guess it's time to switch over to browser mode. Okay, the Caroline Blue Sky. Yeah, it looks if you want to hear how it sounds, uh, there's plenty of videos of it over here. Apparently, it looks like uh, an MXR Timmy clone. Yeah, okay. Pretty budget. Go to the shopping channel. All right. Uh, $22 used. Uh, $20 from AliExpress or $30 around there for everybody else. All right. That's a pretty budget pedal. Yeah, you know, kind of like stuff I never really had any issues with it. They seem pretty durable and stuff, so I don't know. No, no issues there. Now, for the same price, you could probably get some Blue Sky Men's Cologne a spray. It's new. It's twenty four dollars. It's it's ten dollars cheaper, kind of a thing. Or you could get for a th uh, near thousand dollars, you can get a Blue Sky LTD color turquoise bike that comes in various colors. Hmm. All right. Well, that's the uh, Caroline Pure Sky Overdrive pedal. Thanks for tuning in.